Yo, this is Sitana Place. Pokemon White. We have arrived in Andela Town. It's now for us to take a trip to Andela Bay and discover what is lying beneath the ocean. Let's surf the waves and head east. Here in at Unella Bay. And of course, the wild Pokemon in the water. A Wingle. Not really interested in a Wingle. I'm sorry, Wingle, but. You're not on my list, so... Let's see, we go up here... Another wild Pokémon! Would be... Another Wingull! Seems like the essence of Ruby and Sapphire lingers here in the Della Bay... Because, yeah... Because we do reasons... Mm -hmm. Where's the way? Oh, hello, swimmer! Seeing a Pokémon use his best moves against another Pokémon is really an adventure! Hmm. Guess you can say that. We face off against Swimmer Female Rebecca! First will be Shelter! The Water-type Pokémon from Generation 1. Yeah, so this is Shelter, just normal Generation 1 Water-type. Its evolution form Cloister becomes an ice water dual type. That's kinda cool. Rick Rick doesn't take care of it. Oh, Hydro Palm! That doesn't do too much. The power of Shelter is not good enough. Yes, it's a defensive tank, but it doesn't really help defensively if you can't do damage. Next up will be Chinchu! Chincho, the Generation 2 Pokémon, which is a double type of Water Electric. That's a new cool combination, at least not all new now in this game, but... Water Electric is not really the option you see a lot, but you can exist here in Pokémon. But damn, that Chincho just took a one-hit KO from Brick Break! Well done, Scrafty! Last one will be Jellicent. So now we go from Water Electric to Water Ghost. There we go, Jellicent. So I'll just use the Crunch now. I can't use these two or these. I have to use Crunch to do damage. Luckily it's super effective. Because Gold Pokemon hate the dark. Wow, one hit K on Jellicent. Well done, Scrafty. Just cleared up this whole guy by whole guy by herself. The adventure's over already! Yeah, I'm sorry, baby girl, but you are not participating. More wingles. I guess I should use a repel just to screw this freaking wingles all the time. Let's do that. Let's change ourselves. Not the top map, but let's get the max repel going. Let's see, where can we be the dive spot? Be here? Hey, guy, can't tell you to roll, please? I want to fight. My Pokemon and I are always swimming. Of course I can battle while swimming. Multitasking is always nice. As we go head to head against Swimmer Tim. His first Pokemon will be Quagsire. I am calling Swagsire. So, Quagsire is a dual type water ground type Pokemon. Which means he is four time weakness to grass attacks and he's immune to electric. So, all those electric moves that you probably hit him in the past, they did nothing left. One brick break takes it to him half, which the missed attack. Mist will just uh, shot the mist, which will allow. I think remember right there, so Mist makes it you're not allowed to use any stat, up or down abilities or spells throughout. Rain Dance from Quagsire, which means it's gonna be raining now. Not really a big deal for me, I'll use the Brick Break to take care of this one once and for all. Goodbye, Quagsire. Down you go. Next one will be Golduck. Yeah, my Pokémon in Generation 2's team! Here's a Golduck all the way, Cloud9! Which 
means wall better effects will disappear. There we go, Scrafty with the wind. Looking up in the wind and straight to Golduck's face, but Golduck still survives. Amnesia by Golduck. Which will double the special defense, making it much more resistant to fire and special attacks from electric. Another brick break. Close! Hydro pump, this will hurt. Wow, he crits as well, but I'm still surviving this. Here comes another brick break onto Goldust. I mean, uh, Golduck. And down Golduck goes. All the XP is ours. And that's gonna be Male Swimmer Tim. I lost, but I'm still cool, because not many people can say that the battle was swimming. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you shouldn't swim though and play a Pokemon at the same time. I think it's gonna be a bit of a you know bad result, I think. Let's get Scrafty up and healing again. Poor guy. He's been taking a beating. Okay, so now we've been facing two swimmers. Let's see what we can do in here. This is a deep part of the OC, but the Pokemon will be able to dive down. Yeah, we need to use our HMO6, which we got in last time. With dive. That will be teach to Samurott. We have a move called Aqua Tail on Samurott, which we can replace, which is a very decent physical attack, but this one is more important because it's a TM. We will take away one of the other things too. The Aqua Tail goes out for our new ability called Dive. Let's dive under beneath the sea. Let's see what awaits us beneath. Blub blub blub. Whoa, abyssal ruins. Yeah. So that really will do well. So the thing is that when you are down there, you have to control your pad in order to be going down inside the abyssal ruins. Press the forward button will do that actually. And here we are, we are inside the Abyssal Ruins. Click, the sun reverberates. So basically there's a little thing about here in the uh, Abyssal Ruins. That is that you only have a limited amount of moves. If you don't make it, you'll be thrown out. That's what we're gonna do here. This place is huge, can explore a lot. Let's see what you can get. These things are crazy different. Nothing in much air. Oh, what's up? A dull sound came from far away. Oh, an item. We get an earth plate. Awesome! These items are nice for hold items to increase the power of their Pokemon. A certain Pokemon will actually evolve to the type where it represents in the future. Run here and ask, uh, ask the others what we can expect. We're gonna block the way. Is that kind of not cool though? Where can we go further on? Here we have a thing. Get a relic statue. Yeah, do you remember the uh, rich guy in the mansion collects these and th relic things. So if you have a lot of them, get them. Oh damn, it's shaking, it does sound echoed. But I still don't know where I'm supposed to go. You'll get a mind plate as well, two for psychic powers. One for ground, one for psychic. It's kind of a cool combination, ground psychic. Oh, it exists though, but uh, it's a cool combination. Nothing in here either. What the shaking is all about? Give yourself an insect plate, which means bug type Pokemon will get even increased power. Oh boy! Those sound is close. What is it? Is it like a legendary Pokemon or something? What's going on? It's torn the water. No! 
Let's go down again. So basically the thing about the Bishop Ruins is that you have 190 steps to place. If you don't manage to uh, do all your stuff 190 steps, you have to re-enter this place from the beginning again. So every time you have this emote, it means that something is probably not right. We're about to fix that. You just have to be patient. See the uh, things have been set up here. Oh, another sound. So let's get the final well to do what we can. Oh, here's the item. We get a relic copper. That's better than nothing, I guess. Let's see, what's down here? Mm, is this back to the entrance again? Ah, it is. Damn it. Nice vintage bear. Too bad this was made by one of your contestants, I guess. Not good. Oh, two items here. First of all, it's a sky plate. That's nice. Hmm, what's this? Aha, relic silver. More of these items. This is kind of cool. But yeah, we still have to look around. Hmm. A dull sound echoed. We don't really have much more steps left, but where are they? I feel like I'm running around in circles right now because this is just really not going anywhere. Which is a bit sad, but it seems to me like this is not really going anywhere and we're actually going around in circles. Wow, shaky, shaky, shaky. The dull sound echoed again. Where's the torrent of water, though? There we go. Torrent of water, and we're getting tossed out. No! Blub, 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 blub. That sucks. Oh well, let's put on the repel again. Let's go back to town. Let's see. There we go. Where's the... oh, well, I'm looking there. Where's the category? Where is Max Repel? I'm lost now. Come on, Max Repel. There we go, damn, we were hard to find. We can move on. Oh, what's this? It's a rare Pokemon. Whoa, it's a Welmer. This big fat ass whale that we saw in season three of Pokemon. But not really interested in fighting it, let's just go away. This guy we already met before. He was best friend though. I just love swimming, so I only have fought against wild Pokemon. Okay. Let's see your wild Pokemon now. We go up against Swimmer Bart. His first Pokemon will be... Staryu. Interesting choice. Yeah, this Starfish Pokemon will be our first one now. Even though Starmie is a lot tougher than Staryu, Staryu is a pure water type. But when Staryu evolves to Starmie, Starmie gets water and psychic types, which is kinda cool. One of those for enough, and down it goes. Good job, Scrafty. The next Pokemon will be Wingull. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's use a crunch this time because Cardi is a fighting type against the water flying type. That deal will reduce damage. But that one did a lot. Crunch took out the Wingle in one hit. Next up will be Jellicent. Yeah, we've felt Jellicent before. Water and Ghost, dual type. So, 
hit it with something that's good, like for example a uh, a chest bonus thing will be good, or a headpiece of even other L shop stars. Yep, all in the stores. I don't know what I'm talking about, sorry. A bit soon, by the list. I guess people get strong by visiting gyms. Yeah. Visiting gyms, get the badges, challenge the Elite Four and Champion, and become the greatest. Anyways, we're moving on, and we are back in town. Remember, you can go challenge the riches if as well if you want to. And if you find some of the relic stuff that we just found now in the Abyss Ruins, go in here again. Because it's not, it's not really empty here, but if you talk to this guy, he'll be happy. As you can see, I'm an ultra-rich billionaire. And as you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is ultra expensive and rare. Can you see it, can you? There's something about this billionaire that wants to get his hands on. Even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have such a rare item, do you? Yeah, we do have it. It's called the... Uh, the relic stuff. Relic silver first. The relic silver? You sell it to me for 5,000? Sure. I got a very good item. Don't you think it's great, don't you? Well, let's see if we have some other things we can sell to him. So it's a really copper, maybe? A really copper? Really sell it to me for a thousand? Sure. I got a very good item. Don't you think it's great, don't you? Yeah, I think it's really great. I'm, think I'm amazed. I'm like, wow. Hype. Two hundred thousand! Wow! Boom, he's only got rich. Too bad money doesn't really matter at this end of the game, but man, that guy just gave us 200,000! Yeah. Now we can just spam all the potions and revives and pokeballs we want. And it probably should, because in the beginning of next episode, I'm gonna go in here and challenge Cynthia. But you have to be ready for that. I'm not even kidding. So let's just go and uh, get our Pokemon healed up. And get ready to battle Cynthia. Go. Everything is healed up and ready. Need to go buy some items if you need to. Buy it from these two. Let's see what it has to offer. Ultra balls, do we need more of those? No, not really. High potions we need more of. Might level more. So why not? We need them. Next up is revive. Do you need many of those? Buy ten more. There we go. Fifteen thousand uh, spent on revives. That's fine. This doesn't concern me. And that's gonna be it for this episode. So next episode we're gonna go and battle Cynthia, the champion of the Sinnoh region. But now she is in no region to solve the mysteries of the Abyssal Ruins. We might probably get a hint of what it really is, but maybe she'll find out more. But to find out more. We need to beat her first, so that's what we're going to do in the start of the next episode. So, as always, if you liked this video, leave a like. Want to talk about this game or give me feedback, comment below. Do subscribe, please. That's going to be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon White continues.